Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. Thank you for coming back for another video. So today I wanna to talk about my weird symptoms. This is a video that Shannon Amelia has done and I will link her channel below. She's done, I think, three parts of it. Generally for CFS, there are some core symptoms that like everyone has and then there are some weird stuff. Pretty much anything can be attributed to CFS and the reason is because the medical profession don't really know what it is. So if you've got CFS, you can have just such a wide range of symptoms that can be so strange. But we're gonna talk about the weird ones that I have today. So the first symptom I wanna talk about is getting stuck. Basically, I get stuck and I can't move at all. I can't move my limbs at all. Um, I get stuck in a place. If I sit or lie down for too long, I can get stuck. And it's a really weird feeling because I can feel all my limbs and my brain's like move but nothing happens and it's like I've forgotten how to make my limbs work it's like forgetting how to use each muscle which is a really strange thing because like I know how to use them all but quite often if someone helps me gets me going almost like so if I can't move my arm and someone just kind of moves it a little bit for me like for some reason that like triggers it in my mind and they're like I know how to do it again and then I can just carry on the movement and then I've got it back so I, I mean that's pretty like psychological like there's nothing in my arm or whatever that's specifically wrong it's just that I can't find like the controls of how to move them you know it's also it's not that like dangerous if i had an emergency i can like override it and i can't do it on purpose for example if i'm lying in bed and i can't move and then i hear a scary noise and i'm just a little bit stressed the anxiety or the rush of adrenaline can like kickstart it and like move again so it's really weird, <laughs> don't really know what that was about. So the next weird symptom I wanna talk about is my sensory overload. So I quite often get this where I feel overwhelmed by just all of the input, the sound, the sights, the smells, the feelings. Um, I feel overwhelmed by all of the sensory input and I just feel the need to like escape from it all. So <laughs> quite often what I do in like in response is I'll just like, curl up into a ball, try and like block out as many senses as possible just to like really calm myself down. Quite often the sensory overload comes with anxiety. So the overloading of senses causes a lot of anxiety for me. So they kind of go together. Noise is generally the biggest thing for me, the biggest problem I have. So when multiple people are talking at once, often there's a song and a conversation going on, quite often that will overload my brain and I'll feel really stressed. I have been known to tell people to stop talking because there's music in the background, which means I have heard nothing you have said for like 10 minutes. It's not ideal, but it's not that bad. Quite often you can turn another sound off or make sure any one person's talking at once. It can be like really bad if you're in a club or a bar that's really loud and then someone tries to talk to you and you just can't focus. Um, I really struggle with that, but top tip, if you have sensory overload in a bar or a club, going to the toilet, it's much quieter in there and you can have some like rest from the sounds um, and the people. Um, so it's just a nice place to like almost like decompress. Another thing I get is just insane emotions. So basically I'm just, I'm really over emotional. I will cry at the drop of a hat. I feel overwhelmed at the drop of a hat. Like I feel like I've just like a full range of emotions just over very minor things um something minor will happen and i will just be like overwhelmed with a sense of just stress and emergency and like horror <laughs> and i'll just like cry um it's not a very good way to solve your problems because it solves nothing you just cry and then you still have the same problems um but it's my general first reaction do anything going wrong cry it's not a good system but it's not really a system it's just like my natural reaction is just to just break down at any given moment <laughs> so another weird symptom i think this is pretty weird is sometimes i feel shaky on the inside now i've never really known how to describe this except shaky on the inside that's how i describe it so i just i feel 
like when you shake but it feels like it's coming from the inside so it feels like my lungs and they're just shaky that i don't i can't it feels like a whole of my insides are shaky and actually when you look there is no outer sign of being shaky or shakiness at all like i'm perfectly like able to hold my hand steady but there's just a feeling of shakiness like within my um, torso I would say and it's just a really bizarre feeling quite often I also get this feeling of my knees like not working or almost like being really aware of my kneecaps like if I've been walking for too long I'll start feeling like I'm walking through like a liquid almost you know when you're in a swimming pool and you try and walk and there's just that resistance that feels really weird well quite often i feel like that when i've overwalked. i also get this feeling that my knees stop working or they're kind of like gummed up and they just can't like move properly like they don't have their full range of motion like i don't know why it's just like the fatigue and like the overexertion just means that i find it really difficult to like use my knees like whole range of motion feels like then the knees like move in slow motion it feels like you need a huge amount of effort just to move the joint just a little bit and i think that's because you just get fatigued so the muscles that would normally be able to move the joint fairly easily are just getting fatigued because they've overworked and you know now they're finding it more difficult another really weird symptom i have is disappearing pain this isn't that uncommon within chronic fatigue but it's really weird and it's hard to explain to people who don't have chronic fatigue or don't have this exact symptom basically pain for me can appear anywhere in the body it has literally nothing to do with whether there's something actually wrong with that body part so i can have pain anywhere but a part of the weirdness of the pain i'll start with the pain somewhere for example my ribs my ribs are very prone to being in pain i don't know why they just one of the places that are in pain the most the pain will last for a couple of hours two three four hours the pain will last that long and then it will go away and then it will come back but in a different place it's not in the ribs anymore now it's in my legs and sometimes it will just spread so it will just keep adding sometimes it will literally just like it will turn off somewhere and turn back on somewhere else it's really confusing because your brain believes that there is something wrong with that area right so my brain is receiving signals that there is something wrong in the rib cage for example and then the pain goes away and i start receiving signals that the pains in my legs for example and they feel real and it's not that they're not real because my brain is receiving those signals but they're not coming from a broken leg or whatever else they're not coming you know the signals aren't coming from an injury so i'm in pain a lot and in just random parts of my body it can also feel different types so it can be a dull ache or a sharp stabbing it can be feel like it's coming from the muscle or the bone or it can feel like it's coming from the organs so there's like a there's like a big variety of like types of pain and it just like like kind of like swaps between them like constantly one of the things i think is most funny is a couple of years ago i had what i call a grumbling appendix and it never um developed into appendicitis you know it resolved itself but my brain now has memory of the appendicitis pain and quite often I will get appendicitis pain which isn't really there, it's like phantom appendicitis, like my appendix is fine and you know what, quite often I'll get it on the wrong side. Quite often I'll get appendix pain but swapped. <laughs> I'm not like imagining it, the signals are coming to my brain, it's just the signals aren't coming from an actual problem. They're just being created for no reason. Another weird symptom I have is my joints crack. I mean, people without chronic illness can crack their joints. That's like a normal human thing that people can do. But it's weird because the worse I am, chronic fatigue wise, anxiety wise, depression wise, the worse I'm feeling in life overall, the more my joints crack, especially my neck. When I'm in a fairly good place, 
I can't crack my, my neck, my neck will crack like once a day. If I'm feeling bad, my neck, I will just crack my neck constantly. And I don't know why. And I think it's based on the amount of tension in my neck and shoulders, because the more stressed I am, the more like, more it cracks. So I assume it's based on tension and like, you know, tensing and all that kind of stuff, but I don't really know. But all I know is that the worse I'm feeling, the more my neck will crack. So that's weird, it's like, it's like a weird correlation. So if I crick my neck and it goes, you know, in a row, we're having a bad moment. <laughs> it's, a, it's, it's a weird measure that's surprisingly accurate. Another weird symptom I have is what I call uncomfortable organs. So basically I get this feeling that I can feel my organs and I can feel them rubbing against each other and just causing like friction. That's not really how organs work, but that's the feeling I get inside my body. You know, I, I just, I get this feeling that's inside me that all the, the different parts of my body are all just like rubbing against each other, causing friction and uncomfortableness and causing discomfort and just being really just kind of gross and weird and it's not painful exactly it's just a really bizarre feeling that my insides are just like don't want to be there and there's just all this friction going on and i don't know it's i don't have any um gut problems or any other like organ problems so like I don't think there's any like basis for it other than I think it's just my brain's interpreting a signal as that feeling and it's weird and I've never like described it to someone and had them like understand what I was talking about. Let me know if you have weird organs. <laughs> so the last weird symptom I'm going to talk about today is my random collapses. So this generally happens when my knees just give out, like I'm just stood minding my own business and my knees will buckle underneath me and I'll just be on the ground and I'll be like oh it's happened again oopsie you know like I don't know it's coming and it's just it's just a split second thing and I'm on the ground also it also happens in a different way where I lose balance and I just tip over that doesn't happen as often but it does also happen so Sometimes I'm just stood and I just start to, you know, um, tilt because my balance starts going and then I'll just, just, just tip. Falling down is very surprising to people who are stood around you. It, it's, it's, I mean, as long as it doesn't hurt, it's hilarious. It's just kind of funny, you know? Um, and you're just like, oh, I fell down again. What else is new, you know? It just kind of happens. Um, but it can just be really painful if you land on like a bad surface or hit something on the way down. Um, sometimes you'll get people that can catch you, but most of the time I just like hit the deck. But also it can sometimes hurt more if someone tries to catch me and fails than if I just hit the ground. So like, if you wanna catch me, like commit, <laughs> like be ready. <laughs> Thank you so much for watching this video. I really enjoyed making it actually. I'm going to link Shannon's channel down below. So definitely go check out her versions of this video. They're really great. And she has really different symptoms than I do. So it will be interesting. Remember to like the video if you enjoyed it and comment and let me know if you have any of these symptoms or know anyone that does, or if you just think they're weird because I think they're a little bit weird. Um, and remember to subscribe, we're nearly at 100 subscribers and I'd really appreciate it. Thank you so much for watching, bye bye. I can hear you. <laughs> oh, I know what you're feeling, hi. <laughs> Imagine like, <laughs> that, is that the right word? <laughs>